Good morning, Yarnabees. How are you today? Oh my God. I need to have a shower. <laughs> so I just um, dropped Tia and Axel off at the ferry terminal. <sighs> and <clears throat> not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. No, I'm not going to cry. Um, I was, I dropped them off and I was uh, driving home. And I all of a sudden got this overwhelming feeling of empty nest syndrome. Um, it was the weirdest feeling. I, everything, I got home, everything was quiet. And I realized I don't have to go to the shop. And I have nothing pressing to do. Um, and I, I just, all of a sudden I felt lost. Like I just, I feel, I feel lost. It's the weirdest thing. It's like, I don't know what to do. I should be happy. I should be able to go, Hey, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to crochet and I'm just going to drink coffee and relax. And I'm just, I'm, I'm. I'm just sitting here trying to figure I it's so quiet I can hear my heartbeat in my ears you know and I'm just going wow Bailey's looking at me like are we going to the shop you know and I'm just like no um I mean I got a crap ton of stuff I could be doing but yeah this is the weirdest feeling. I wonder if this is how people feel when they retire. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm I'm just kind of going, if I don't want to do anything, I don't have to. And I'm, wow. Weird concept. Yeah, really weird concept. Um, yeah. I really want to get my other room dealt with um, so that I could start making those bags and everything. But I think for right now, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm decompressing and I don't know how to feel about it. I, I don't, I've been so, you know, just go, 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 do, 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 do for two years and... I don't have anything to do. I mean, nothing that's just like, I got to do it. I got to get it done. I got to, you know, other than this sweater that I can't show you. Um, because it's for Chris. I can show you a little. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to put the panels together on this. And then I could start on the sleeves. But, yeah, I think I'm just going to watch some videos. I got my Tim Hortons coffee. Um, yeah, and just kind of sort through my feelings. Huh. What a concept. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? Oh, God, I'm looking old. I just got out of the shower and my hair is just, it's doing what it's doing. I just, I can't even with this hair. It's driving me crazy. It's speaking of a uh, weird thing happening. Didn't realize it until a few days ago. My hair is not growing. And neither are my nails. <sighs> I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> um... I don't know if it's because of the diabetes or if it's because of the Ozempic or if it's because of something else. I don't know. Maybe it's gray hair doesn't grow as fast. I, I don't know what's going on, but my nails aren't growing. I haven't had to cut my nails in forever. So I don't know what's happening. I don't know. 
what's happening. I have fuzz all over me. <clears throat> um, I've been taking this collagen stuff, enhancer stuff or whatever, in my coffee for long time. Well, not long time, but <clears throat> a couple months. And nothing. So I don't know what's going on. It's kind of weird. Ugh, bizarre. <clears throat> and I'm also not healing as fast, but that's also because I'm on blood thinners. And uh, apparently when you've got diabetes, you don't heal as quickly. So anyway, yeah, weird. <clears throat> I have a headache. Oh my God. I've got that coughing headache. You know, when you cough a lot. <clears throat> and you got you get like a pressure headache oh it, it's awful I can't cough at all without my head feeling like it's gonna twist off my freaking shoulders <clears throat> so I'm hoping that's gonna go away soon um I'm not near 100% I'm probably 80% maybe um <clears throat> I don't know I still got the throat thing and the cough, but I feel pretty good, I think. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh man. It's just one of those days, you know. <clears throat> the sun's out, which is nice. Uh, it's been rainy and crappy for a while now. <clears throat> so, you know how I was saying before that I had that feeling of empty nest syndrome kind of thing. And I, <clears throat> I tell you, I've, I have felt at a loss, like since I closed the shop and since, um, the kids left and everything, I've just felt so lost. It's weird. Uh, I think I'm coming out of that now. Um, now I'm looking around going, Oh my God, I've got so much to do and I'm still not, <clears throat> not a hundred percent. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to be doing that through the video. You guys, I'm so sorry. <coughs> um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I was looking through my comments on my last video and was it that video or the video? No, it was the video before. Um, and on the Friday's video, I think, and lo and behold, I get a message from Miss Cinnamon Stitches. <clears throat> she was saying that she wanted to get uh, one of the mermaids that I make. The mermaid that I showed, sold um, to a lady. Actually, the lady that commissioned me to make those two dragons, she bought the mermaid uh, first. So I <clears throat> messaged Jennifer and I said, hey, what colors do you want? She says, I want it to look like me. I'm like, okay, um, I'm going to work on that. <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's going to be my next project uh, that I'm going to start working on. Um, <clears throat> I have a few projects here. Mm. Wait, hold that thought. Speaking of Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches, I just watched her video and she was talking about uh, her going to the chiropractor. Girlfriend, I know exactly what you're talking about. If it wasn't for my chiropractor, I wouldn't be walking. <clears throat> um, normally, he can fix me in one session. If I'm really, really bad, then it's going to take a few sessions. You are going to feel beat up afterwards because all of your muscles go into atrophy and they're protecting what he just fixed. He's trying to, your muscles are trying to keep it in place. Right. So you're going to feel like you just got into a fight. <clears throat> um, so that's normal. And it's going to be a couple of days before you're going to feel. Well, by the time this video comes out, you're going to be fine. You're going to be right as right. <clears throat> but. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, yeah. Like I. I can't do. There are so many different types of chiropractors out there. And there's so many different types of modalities in like that way um and there's a lot of them that i can't see because it, the, what they do just doesn't work for me <clears throat> um i need the old style crackham kind of chiropractor 
to fix me. And the, the thing is the whole fear thing. Um, one of the problems is doctors don't like chiropractors. Doctors will tell you, do not go see a chiropractor. They're going to mess you up. They can, you can have a stroke. You can have this, you can have that. There's, there are risks at everything that you do in the medical system, right? Like it's just, it doesn't matter what kind of doctor you go to. There's a risk. You're putting your life in someone's hands. Right. And there's a lot of stigma that goes around chiropractics. Now, there's going to be a lot of people, I'm sure, that are going to comment on my video and they're going to comment on Jennifer's video saying, oh, you should not go to a chiropractor. You know, he could he could put paralyze you. He could do this. You know what? You need to do your research. Not the people that are saying that. Well, they got to do research, too, but. When you're going to find a chiropractor or any kind of physician, you have got to do your research, you know, because there are some chiropractors out there that are giving the good chiropractors a bad name, right? <clears throat> there are some out there that are just crap. And they, I've gone to a few that have hurt, hurt me more than, well, look what happened um, with my jaw. And I went to that one lady, that chiropractor, she made me way worse. I was getting dizzy spells. She was trying to manipulate my brain. I don't know what the hell she was doing, but she made me worse. And like an idiot, it took me like three times of seeing her before I went, no, I can't keep doing this. Right. <clears throat> so you, you need to do your research and you need to be the advocate for your own body. <clears throat> you know, um, but I've had two chiropractors in my life that have been my saviors. And I actually just found out not too long ago that the first chiropractor had passed away from a heart attack um, a few years back. <clears throat> he was my ex-husband's friend, you know, after we got divorced. <clears throat> but anyway, um, so that was kind of sad. But I... I, I, my chiropractor is a God to me, you know, like he look what just happened. Like my back, my hips were so messed up. Um, I was in so much pain like two weeks ago and I knew my hip was out <clears throat> and I thought, Oh, this is going to hurt, you know? And when I went in there, he, what he does is he wraps a towel around my, my ankle and he gently pulls its traction. He gently pulls and then let's go and then pulls a little further and then let's go and then pulls a little further and keeps doing that. Right. And it stretches, it elongates the muscles in your legs and get, allows for oxygen to get in between your joints, um, <clears throat> to help heal what's going on. Right. And, when he did that, it instantly popped. And I was like, oh, wow. And I was, I've been fine ever since. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been able to dragon boat, uh, paddle for as long as I did. Um, but eventually I just, I didn't keep up with my chiropractor and I, my back just got to be too much. It, the, between my L4 and L5, my lower back, I have no discs in between now. Um, I had a bulging disc and ruptured disc between there and now they've just gone and there, there's nothing there now. <clears throat> um, I don't know if it's going to end up with bamboo spine down there or what's going to happen, but what I do know is that when I'm paddling, I have to be able to twist. I have to be able to move and it's not allowing me to do that. So by the end of the season, I'm bedridden. Like I, I can't do it anymore. Um, and then he looks at me and he goes, <laughs> and I go, eh, sorry. So <clears throat> I had to give it up. Right. There was other reasons why I gave it up too, but, um, that was the most part. So he got me through quite a bit. 
and um, I don't see him near as much as I should. So Jennifer, keep that up. Keep it up. Okay. Go when you feel pain, go see him. If he's a really good chiropractor, like you say he is, you put your trust in him and go because don't put it off. Don't sit there and go, oh, it's going to be fine. La, 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 la. No, because then you're going to start that cycle again. You've got to keep on top of it. <clears throat> um, and he'd tell you the same thing, right? So um, I'm so happy that you found somebody that can help you. Uh, there's, like I say, you got to do your research, man, because there's a lot of chiropractors out there. There's a lot of doctors for that matter. And we're finding that out now post COVID <clears throat> that there's a lot of doctors that are crap, right? Um, so when it comes to your spine and everything, you don't want to mess around with that. If you have, if you find a good chiropractor, you hold on tight to that person because the next one you go to, you just don't know. Right. Um, there's, and that's the same with any, anything, you know, dentists, doc, um, I doctors, like just all of them, right. There's the good apples and there's the bad apples and the bad apples make it bad for everybody. So, and that's exactly what's happened. <clears throat> right. So, um, but I still go in there with fear, <laughs> like, not fear. I trust him wholeheartedly. But when it comes to my neck, because I've got bone spurs all up and down my spine, it scares me. But he's my my guy's extremely gentle. He's extremely gentle. And, <clears throat> you know, he uses a lot of pressure with his thumbs and stuff. Right. And then, you know, he'll press where it's supposed to be. And then he'll, you know, do just a little quick. <clears throat> so, but. In Jen's case, you know, it had been a long time. She'd never taken care of it. So it there had to have been more force, right? So I can understand how that would scare a person. Especially if you've never been before, you don't know what to expect, you know? So anyway, so yeah. Um, yeah, the stigma is, is bad. And I just know from my experience with all the things that have happened with me with car accidents and, um, degenerate, I can never say that word. Degenerative <laughs> uh, disc disease. <laughs> um, I know what my journey has been. <clears throat> so, yeah. So having said that, uh, moving on. So I have been trying, I've decided that for my craft fairs, I don't want to do the normal amigurumi stuff that everybody else is doing, right? Um, I want to do something different because you know that when you go into a craft fair, there's going to be at least two of you, um, two crocheters, two knitters, two whatever. So you have to stand out from the crowd, right? If I did the same old, same old, did the chickens, did the pickles, did the, the leggy frogs, did the, you know, all the stuff that you see out there, my stuff would get lost in the crowd. So I want to do things that are going to make me stand out, <clears throat> right? So I am going to do some more dragons. I'm going to do my forest guardians. I'm going to do my, um, Oscar, the octopus. Um, I'm going to do that kind of stuff. Uh, I also got a pattern, this, this pattern, I, now I can't remember, I, I gotta start writing this stuff down. I can't remember the names of the people that I got these patterns from. So I'm just going to write them here. Okay. <clears throat> um, I got a pattern for these mini spiders. I like the pattern. I didn't have the proper eyes. So I just ordered some eyes. So I just kind of winged this one just to see if I could do it and see what it would look like and see if I'd want to do it again. Right. So, and I have arachnophobia. I, no word of a lie. I, I am very arachnophobic, even though I wrote a book on, on spiders. Um, but I think the crocheted ones are kind of cute. <laughs> So I have another pattern for a spider and I, I have like, uh, I got the legs and everything done here. 
from quite a while ago. Like I've got all the legs and part of the body and everything, but I haven't finished that one. That one was a long time ago. I think it was last year that I did it. <clears throat> totally forgot about it actually. So, but this one is a no sew pattern and it worked up really fast and it's kind of cute. Granted, I have the wrong eyes, but having said that, um, so, <laughs> so this is a little jumping spider. Um, isn't it cute? <laughs> you know, that, uh, that cartoon that, um, it's called Lucas the spider. I, sometimes I post stuff on, actually, I think they have a, a TV cartoon now. So yeah, that's a great story. Like the, the guy who invented Lucas is drew Lucas out and, and the voice for Lucas is his, is it his niece or his, I, I, I can't remember, but it's the little girl. <clears throat> um, so anyway, or little boy, little boy, little girl. I can't remember. Anyway. Um, yeah, it was a little boy because Lucas is a boy. Oh, geez. Anyway, Lucas is a spider. Adorable. Love it. So this kind of reminds me of Lucas, right? Um, I didn't do the color changing and everything because I just wanted to see what this was going to be like. I've ordered the eyes. It's Amazon Prime right now. <clears throat> so I should be getting the eyes in the next day or so. They might even be coming today. I don't know. And then I will start doing the color changes for the legs and stuff. But having said that, um, I just did this the way it is. Um, now these, I thought, oh man, I'm going to have to make eight legs. And I'm going to have to sew them all on. No, you don't. Um, so I am shocked at how fast this was and how adorable this is. So I think this would be a great little keychain or like a backpack buddy or something like that. So I'm going to do up a bunch of these little guys, uh, cause it's, a, they're adorable. So <clears throat> yeah. Um, the next one, which one should I show you first? I'm going to show you this one first. Uh, this is a pattern by mm -hmm, here. Um, <laughs> it's cute. I haven't put the fangs on it because I wanted to, um, I wanted to do them in felt or something and I don't have any felt right now. Um, <clears throat> but there's a lot of parts to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts, <sighs> which normally doesn't bother me too much because of the dragons and everything I do there that's all parts too right but this was black yarn you know so anyway <laughs> isn't that cute so there's the eyes it's a bat so um of course by the time I just start doing craft fairs again Bats are going to be a thing in the past, but I can start making some stuff like this for next year. So, and then just <clears throat> stockpile them. But I thought this was so cute. I'm not a big fan of these legs though, because they're just basically cups that you stick on. I would much rather have had them kind of like these. So I don't know. I might tweak that somehow. Um, because, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of these legs. But other than that, it's adorable. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm, I'll am i end up making some more of that, um, those at some point. But I really wanted to try this pattern. And there is a way to do the inside of the wings. Because uh, the wing is all one piece, right? Like, it's not two pieces put together. So there's a way to do the co different color on the inside. And then I wouldn't mind doing a different color on the inside of the ear as well. So, yeah. And I think that's probably why I'm kind of like, Neh. it's, it, it's, is what it is. Um, because there's no depth to it. There's no color to it. It's just all black. So 
I didn't get very creative with this guy. <clears throat> but he's cute. And then when he gets his little thingies, it's going to be even cuter. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So I did that one. Um, I finished. No, I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. This is the yarn that I got from Timu that I wanted to try. Okay. I actually just got this. This is the, the yarn that I showed in that video, that couple of videos ago. And I wanted to try to see what this would do. Now I thought I was going to make mushrooms or something because this is pretty fine. All right. Um, and then I got the brilliant idea to put two strands together. I only had three balls <clears throat> or three hanks skeins. Oh my good Lord. So I thought, well, what am I going to do with this? And I went, okay, let me look through my patterns. And that's another video that I'm going to do one day. I'm going to go through all of the patterns on my computer with you. And uh, just in case you wanted to go and purchase them or whatever. Um, and just to show you what kind of library I've got. I don't know. <clears throat> so anyways, I thought, well, what? What should I make? And I'm looking through and I'm going, no, 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 I don't want to make that. I don't want to. And then I found a pattern that I had from 2016 or something. And I thought, hmm, I haven't made this. And I thought, I'm going to try that. Now, it took me a couple goes because <laughs> I had this brilliant idea. And then I went, no, that's not going to work. So I had to frog that out. This stuff is really easy to frog, by the way, because it's so silky. Um, but <clears throat> so all of my OGs know that I'm spiritual. I'm not religious. Okay. I'm not Wiccan. I'm not pagan. Well, I guess I'm kind of pagan, but um, <clears throat> I'm very, I'm spiritual. I believe in a higher power. Um, and you know, so I have my little quirks, one of which is the goddess. Now, I used to have a necklace with the goddess of fertility um, long time ago, long, long time ago. So this kind of resonated with me. So I made her. Now, the regular goddess of fertility doesn't have eyes. <laughs> She's just like a plain, but I, I, I just kind of went, eh, nah. so I put her, I put eyes on her. Don't know if I like it. Um, but I thought I'd try it out. So this is the fertility symbol or it's supposed to be round, but, <laughs> but when you're surface crocheting, it's kind of hard to get round. <laughs> So anyways, this is her arms. They go up. So yeah, so she is the goddess of fertility. And if you look up the goddess of fertility, you will see this symbol uh, in necklace four. Right. So I thought, well, that's different. I've never made something like that before. And three skeins doubled up, like made this whole thing. I couldn't believe it. And I still have this much left. So it was only like two and a half that made this. So I was quite shocked. <laughs> uh, it, I loved using this yarn. It was so easy to work with. You know how challenging it can be to use two strands of anything. Um, it, this was not challenging. Uh, it was very easy to use. So I am quite impressed with that yarn. So yeah. So anyways, there she is. Um, totally different than anything I ever thought I would make, but I like her. <laughs> so yeah. Ah, Anyway, um, so that's pretty much it. That's all I've got to show you, I think. Um, <laughs> oh, um, Natalie from Natalie's Closet 
she contacted me and she was asking me for the link for this. Um, so I sent it to her and then I thought, did I even put the link for this in my video? Obviously I didn't if she was asking me. So uh, I will put the link for this in this video. Uh, if anybody is interested, all my vlogger friends out there. And uh, yeah, so anyway, okay, that's it. So thanks for joining me and um, I guess I will talk to you guys soon. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next. Um, oh, I did finish Chris's sweater. I did, I did, I did. I'm so happy and I can't show it to you. Not yet. Um, once she has it in her hot little hands, then I could show you. So I will, I will do a video clip of the sweater and I will just hold on to it until she gets it. And then I will show you guys. Okay. I am happy with it. I, ugh, that one was a labor of love. It definitely was because I put it all together and something went all awry and I had to take it all apart again and redo the attachment oh geez it was a, it was a nightmare so <clears throat> i'm done <laughs> i am so done so yeah so i needed to cleanse my palette and start doing some ammies and uh, some plushies um just to kind of get my my head straight again <laughs> so anyway okay guys i love you all thank you for joining me don't forget to do all the things subscribe and like and comment and all that kind of stuff and I will talk to you guys later. I love you all. Bye.